Welcome to Electron Line. Now here's a really interesting problem and the result will really surprise you. So let's say, and this of course is a hypothetical problem, let's say we have a very strong steel band going all the way around the earth and it's situated on the ground. Now of course we need to be in places where there's no mountains, we go across the ocean so everything is at sea level and we have people standing next to that steel band. Now, of course, on the oceans, we'd have to have some sort of floating device so they can stand. So everybody is standing next to the steel band. And we have people standing all the way around the world. At the same time, on command, everybody takes a deep breath, blows onto the steel band, and they then do that all at the same time. They exhale the warm air from their lungs onto the steel band. It causes the temperature of the steel band to increase by one degree centigrade. Well, now the band will be longer. The question is, how high will the band rise above the surface of the Earth due to that increase of one degree centigrade? Assuming that the band is strong enough to stand up above the surface of the earth and that the tension in the band or the pressure in the band will simply be able to rise it up above the surface. How high above the surface will the band rise with a change in temperature of one degree centigrade? All right, to do that, we need to find the change in the length. So the change in the length is going to be equal to the original length times the coefficient of heat expansion times the change in the temperature. So in this case, the original length would be the circumference of the Earth, which is 40 million meters. And then we multiply times the coefficient of linear expansion, 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5 per centigrade degree. And multiply times 1 centigrade degree for the rise in the temperature. So that will be the increase in the length. Now, how much will that be? So we have 40 million times... 1.2 e to the 5 minus equals 480 meters. So the additional length will be equal to 480 meters. Now, how does that translate into rise of that band above the surface? Well, we can say that the circumference, which is equal to the length, is equal to 2 pi times the radius. So the change in the circumference, which is equal to the change in the length, is equal to 2 pi times the change in the radius, or the change in the radius is equal to the change in the length divided by 2 pi. Now the change in the length we saw was 480 meters, so this is equal to 480 meters divided by 2 pi. So the change in the radius, meaning the amount that the, that the band will rise up, is 480 divided by 2 divided by pi equals, well, about 76 meters. So stand aside. You got to be careful. If everybody breathes or exhales onto the band at the same time, you better step aside because the band will rise up 76 meters into the air, all the way around the earth, with a change of one degree centigrade. And that is how it's done.